Into the month of September and with most school districts already going, it feels like summer has come to a close. But don't tell that to the Hancock County Fair. Here's John Monk. In its second day, Hancock County residents enjoyed perfect fair going weather at the Hancock County Fair. Running six days through Labor Day, this fair offers everything you'd want to end your summer. And along with bringing people from city life and country life together, it also has become a generational family tradition for many. There was a family I met this morning and there were five generations represented at the goat show. They have been going, I think grandpa said this was his 67th year at the fair. And while many kids in Hancock County have school off for the fair, it's not all fun and games through Labor Day. If they're participating, they're working. <laughs> Today was show day for sheeps and goats. Cora Bowman, this year's goat duchess, says goats can be stubborn at times, but are usually fun. And taking care of them is a reward in itself. I definitely learned about hard work. It is not easy. It's definitely a lot of hard work, but I enjoy it too. And have you ever seen a rabbit going for a walk? Brittany Creekman showed rabbits at the fair for years and is now helping her younger sister do the same. I always encourage kids to get into 4-H, FFA, mm -hmm. because it gives you that opportunity to nurture something and be a part of something. Yeah. Friday night will feature drag racing and a barrel battle, a demo derby on Saturday, and Sunday's big event is a tractor pull. Reporting from Finley, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.